The year is 1899. Location, the Tesla Experimental Station, Colorado, USA. A 43-year-old Tesla is working at his laboratory, studying the use of high-voltage, high-frequency electricity in wireless power transmission. With his newly created Tesla coils, the scientist discovered that he could transmit and receive powerful radio signals when they were tuned to resonate at the same frequency. During one of the tests, Tesla said that he was receiving strange radio signals coming from space. Tesla believed that someone was attempting to communicate with us through numbers, since they are a universal language. In the later years, Tesla recounted his experience, stating that a strange feeling was growing on him, that he was the first to have been contacted from the extraterrestrials. Scientists today, however, have determined that those radio pulses were most likely naturally occurring signals that space objects emit while in orbit. The prevailing theory, while still unlikely, is that Tesla heard a pulsar, or a faraway celestial body, that emits regular pulses of radio waves. Welcome to Star Extreme. There is a little space for everyone here. There are a variety of strange radio signals that have been detected in space, and scientists continue to study them in order to understand their origin and nature. Fast radio bursts are extremely short bursts of radio waves, lasting only a few milliseconds. They are extremely bright and can be detected from billions of light years away. Scientists are still trying to determine the cause of FRBs, but some theories include supernovae, black holes, or even extraterrestrial civilizations. Overall, strange radio signals can offer an exciting opportunity for scientists to explore the unknown and potentially discover new phenomena in the universe. However, it's also important to approach these signals with a healthy dose of skepticism and to critically evaluate any claims about their origin and nature. Back in 1977, while reviewing a recorded data, astronomers discovered a strong narrow-band radio signal detected by the Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope. The signal appeared to come from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius and bore the expected hallmarks of extraterrestrial origin. Astronomer Jerry R. Emmon, who detected the signal, was so impressed by the result that he circled on the computer printout the reading of the signal's intensity and wrote the comment, wow, beside it, leading to the event's widely used name. The entire signal sequence lasted for the full 72-second window during which Big Ear was able to observe it, but has not been detected since, despite several subsequent attempts. Many hypotheses have been advanced on the origin of the emission, including natural and human-made sources, but none of them adequately explain the signal. The WOW signal remains the strongest candidate for an extraterrestrial radio transmission ever detected. Since then, we have detected countless radio signals coming from several directions. One of them came from the direction of Proxima Centauri, arising hopes in the hearts of several people that an alien civilization from our nearest star was trying to contact us. It turned out that the radio waves were created by human-made technological anomalies. And now, Astronomers have captured a radio signal from the most distant galaxy so far. The radio signal captured was found to have a wavelength of 21 centimeter line, researchers from Montreal and India revealed in a new study. This signal came from the most distant known galaxy SDSSJ0826 5630 and may help researchers look back at the early universe. Astronomers use the giant meter wave radio telescope in India to detect the signal. It is the first time that this type of radio signal has been detected from such an immense distance. A galaxy emits different kinds of radio signals, says Arnab Chakraborty, a postdoctoral researcher at McGill University under the supervision of Professor Matt Dobbs. Until now, it's only been possible to capture this particular signal from a galaxy nearby, limiting our knowledge to those galaxies closer to Earth," Chakraborty added. 
He noted that researchers used a naturally occurring phenomenon called gravitational lensing to capture a faint signal from a record-breaking distance. Gravitational lensing term was coined by Albert Einstein and describes when closer objects act as a magnifying glass for distant objects. Essentially, gravity warps and magnifies the light of distant background galaxies. This will also help us understand the composition of galaxies at much greater distances from Earth. In the study, the researchers said they were able to observe the distant galaxy's atomic mass of its gas content. And what they found was that this particular galaxy is almost twice the mass of the stars visible to us. The team said the detected signal was emitted from the faraway galaxy when the universe was only 4.9 billion years old. This allowed the researchers to glimpse into the secrets of the early universe, a press release from McGill University reported. It's the equivalent to a look back in time of 8.8 .8 billion years. In the future, researchers hope to use existing low-frequency radio telescopes to observe the early universe. With Webb looking at the early universe and radio telescopes detecting old radio signals, we are closer to the Big Bang than ever before. This is an exciting time for science and the future looks very, very promising. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Star Extreme because there is a little space for everyone here.